What's happening, everyone? It is time for another five-minute bit of driving wisdom. Today, I want to talk about net positive versus net negative thoughts and how they can change the frequency of the energy in your body to allow you to have a better existence overall. If you like this content, you know where to go. Darren Keim on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, of course. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see in the background. Um, I'm driving like 30 miles an hour. I live in Texas right now, but I'm employing my Michigan driving skills. My homeland, God's country, where I grew up. I grew up driving through ice and snow from the year of my 16th year onward. Um, up through, and then I lived in Ohio, and I experienced even more, well, not even more, but continued to experience snow and misery for approximately four to six year, uh, months every year. And uh, I experienced that up until I was basically in my 30s, and then when I got my degree to do physical therapy, I was like, I'm out the door. <laughs> this cold weather this driving in the freezing cold, it's for the birds. Anyways, here I am in Texas, and I can't i can't see if you guys can see or not. You can probably see that there's some whiteness going on in the background. What we have right here is round two of the winter vortex, uh, day number two, but also year number two, because last year, right around this time, you may remember hearing about a crazy winter storm that happened where power was out and I think something like close to 250 people died last year because in Texas they're not used to having no power. Anyways, I'm telling this long rambling story about the cold because you get in your car and you northern people know how it is. You southern people during this, you know how it is. It's miserable and it's very easy to come up with plenty of reasons why this sucks right now. Why everything sucks and I just want to be in warmth. I'm just done with this all. What is happening when we're doing that though, when we are framing things already right off the bat, a narrative that this sucks and here's why. Think about the list that you're compiling and ask yourself, is it a positive or negative list? And ask yourself if that framing of things is that a perpetual thing that you do so for any given thing that you encounter throughout your day are you framing it positively or negatively uh, I had to catch myself this morning knowing that the things that I view in life I'm usually framing them in a negative way and our brains there's this thing called neuroplasticity what it is is essentially your brain physically changing, being manipulable, but being able to be malleable and adapt and grow in ways according to the thoughts that you're putting in your mind. So it makes new neural pathways or new ways of firing within your brain, physically speaking, actual pathways that form based off of the content that you're putting in. So in a way, there has been an analogy to uh, the brain being like a computer. In that sense, it kind of is. You're downloading information, but the crazy thing is our brain is physically being altered by the things that we're putting into it. So if you're putting a net negative uh, spin on things and therefore a net negative number of thoughts are coming into your mind on a regular basis, your brain is adapting off of that daily. So the question you need to ask is, what are you putting into your mind? How are you framing it? And are you framing it in a positive or negative way? Now you could be saying like, okay, how am I supposed to frame this in a positive way? It's the winter wonderland out here. And I'm living in Texas where it's supposed to be warm all the time. Snow isn't supposed to happen here. Come on. This is ridiculous. How do you frame this positively? Okay. Here's how you frame it positively. You look at the, the sum total of things that you've got in your life, maybe back up, zoom your lens out a little bit. And what I can say is, hey, you know what? I woke up in a 
apartment that has heat that kept me warm. I've got clothes on. I'm driving in a vehicle that works right now through this cold. And I'm 42 years old right now. And on this day of freezing cold, I'm still here. All of this cold, all of this whatever it was that's been going on in my life, whatever it might be, I'm still standing, I'm still breathing. <clears throat> the other thing is our brains are rifling through thoughts, like shuffling through them so fast. A thought will last a few seconds and our short-term memory, I was looking this up, short-term memory lasts for pro approximately 30 seconds to a minute. So you are basically storing thoughts in your mind for a short period of time. You won't even remember these thoughts. But what will happen is if you're setting a tone, a vibration or a frequency of energy, like a, a certain vibe of this is the tone of my feelings. I feel this way. Your feelings begin to set a particular frequency that your body operates on. So it doesn't matter what you were thinking. You may have forgotten that particularly negative thought, but the vibe, if you're continuing in a default mode of negativity, the vibe is going to be set negative for your body. So the frequency, the, the level of energy that you're operating off of, you're setting a net negative energy that is going to carry you through and that's what you're what your body will be operating off of. So your physical brain is taking your mental thoughts and it's instilling it and employing it into your body and it's going in a negative direction. So think about what I had said about the positive spin on things. When you do that, what kind of things do you feel inside when you think of something empowering? Empowering is kind of a cliche and a cheesy word, but what is it doing for you? It's actually, you can tell, you can feel it. There's a different vibe that you're setting for yourself when you frame things in a certain way. So let me ask you this, why would you not, if both things are true, you can look at it in the negative or the positive, but if both things are true, why would you not want to then operate on that positive vibe and get that empowered feeling going through you and allow that to carry you through your day? In other words, do you want to feel bad? Do you want to feel negative? Do you enjoy that feeling? The reason why we call it negative is because it feels negative. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel good. Empowering feels good. There's a difference between negative and comfortable. So you can feel negative and it doesn't feel good, but it can feel comfortable. That's what we often do. It's our default. So we are in our comfort zone. But once you push that vibe up, just like lifting weights, once you once you do it a couple times and you work out, you get done, you feel better. You're pushing yourself into a higher frequency if you're used to thinking negative and you're pushing into the positive, but then it becomes your default state. All right, that's what I got for you. Clearly over five minutes again, but I don't care. It's good times, good conversation. If you like this content, you know where to go. Darren Kime on YouTube, like, subscribe, share. I love you guys. Talk to you later.